there are a lot of Drag Race fans. I love the idea that you'll be bringing a lot of them into the theater. I do think that the show does much like the show Drag Race does. Drag Race does introduce young, young people mm -hmm. um, and their families to the art of drag. Yeah. I think this show will introduce young people to the art of theater. I love how emotional you're getting talking about it because there's something about um, theater that people have this connection. This yeah. is, it's sort of... I recognized early on where my people were. Mm -hmm. I recognized I could see them. You know, so that's where I, I saw people in the theater and I saw people in the arts and I was like, I have to go. It was, I knew I was a creative soul. I knew I was driven in that world. Yeah. But I was reinforced by knowing that people like me were in those spaces and that was a safe space for me. And so I think that's, it was, that was, I was, it was like almost like an allowance and okay and a, you should, yes. And so when you see a show like Hairspray, and it is so queer. I mean, we're talking, I mean, this is a very yeah. profoundly queer show. Being a part of this, knowing, I mean, that's why, I mean, I'm getting choked up because I know what this is. You know, like, and I know somebody, I know what this did for me when I was 20. I know what it's doing to me when I'm 42. I can't imagine what it's gonna do for somebody who's young and closeted and sees someone like me or the Billy Porter, or it doesn't matter who it is that's queer and out and doing the work, but that, representation does matter because it allows people to see themselves and allows them to say, I matter. I have a space, I, that's a space I can go to. That's a space I can fill. That's something I can be a part of. Yeah, it makes me emotional.